The plan was to leave Lymington, head over to the Isle of Wight, just west of Yarmouth, and go along the coast to the Needles. Once we'd launched from Lymington Slipway, we had to wait for the Isle of Wight ferry to pass. Lymington is a lovely town, some great restaurants and pubs, it's well worth a visit. The slipway and the facilities are very good, with lots of parking. The conditions were very good, blue skies, sunny, with a slight breeze and calm seas. Making our way over to the Isle of Wight, I was surprised and very pleased to see the Waverley, the last passenger carrying paddle steamer in the world. The last time I saw her, I was in Larks in Scotland. Being keen to catch up with her, I didn't notice how choppy it had become. Diane soon let me know and I had to slow right down. Oh well, we've got no chance of catching her now. The needles came clearly into view, just as my camera went a bit weird. As we were passing the needles on one side, the Waverley was passing the needles on the other. It feels a little daunting being in such a small boat, next to such big white cliffs. Making our way from the Needles, it was time to stop off for lunch. We had chosen the waterfront as we knew that we could beach close by. After a good lunch and a stretch of our legs, it was time to head back, passing Hare's Castle on the way. Hare's Castle is another fortification built by Henry VIII. It played an important role in the Napoleonic Wars and was also used during the Second World War.
been another great day. We were very fortunate with the weather and to see the Waverley by the Needles.